Hello everyone, David Okoye here. Such a joy and a delight to share with you God's Word today. It's always a blessing to share God's Word and to be imparted by the Spirit of God. And once again, today is a great opportunity. Pastor Tony is with me once again. Thank you, sir. It's always a delight sharing God's Word with you. Yes, and we sir. know that we're going to have a great time in the Word today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. We've been talking about the glory of God and the glorified life that the Spirit of God has directed us in this season. And so today our focus is on the power of the Word of God and the glory of God, how the glory of God and the Word agree and work together to bring about the manifestation of what God's Word says concerning you and me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we're going to start by reading a portion of Scripture, the Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, verse 14. Please, sir, can you read for us? Okay. Yeah. The Word was made flesh glory and the way among us. Hallelujah. And we behold His glory, the glory of the, of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Now, obviously, this was talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. But also that the Word, Jesus Christ, from verse 1, we see that He said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And say He was in the beginning with God. Remember? He said, all things were made through Him, through the Word, and without Him. He's talking about the Word, and He's in the Word, Him. Of yes. course, and He's referring to a person, yes. the Word. Glory to God. And said, so without Him, nothing was made that was made. In Him was life. And the life was the light, the development, the civilization of men. He said, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Now look at verse 14, just where you read. He said, and the word, that word became flesh, and tabernacled, hmm. and, and lived, and abide, and dwelt hmm. among us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, and we beheld hmm. his glory. Now just amazing. He's talking about the word, he's saying his. It's a person. The word is a person. Glory to God. He said, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Now, I want to say this. If we are to read this in the light of uh, the, the post-redemption, right? Because this was written pre-redemption before Jesus went to the cross. So right now, based on the finished work of Jesus Christ, we wouldn't say we have beheld his glory, the only begotten of the Father. We would rather say the first begotten of the Father. Because now you are begotten of the Father, I'm begotten of the Father. Everyone who is born again is begotten of the Father. Glory to God. Now I want to talk about the place, the connection we see here. He says, talk, talking about the Word, and then he goes on to say, the Word became flesh. We beheld His glory. And then he says, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Can you help us find that connection between the glory and the Word of God? Glory to God. You know, uh, the Word of God is a person. Yeah. Declare yes, he praise God, and it's God the Father that came through the Son to reveal Himself to us. God the Father came through His Son so to reveal himself, himself to us. us. That's, that's remarkable. Um, when we talk about the glory, talk about the beauty of the Father, oh, talk really about the atmosphere of His presence, mm. talk about the demonstration of His power. Praise God, and the glory of God is who, who God is. Mm. His so, when, so, when you see Jesus, you have seen God. Wow. Wow. And it's wow. full of truth. Mm. Because the word of truth, but I would say, know the word and the word will make it true. Make wow. it free. Yeah, 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 so yeah, the yeah. word of God is true. Mm. So when you see Jesus, you're seeing the face of truth walking. Wow. wow, wow. It actually says that here that we beheld full of, it says we beheld the glory of the Father full of no. grace and truth. truth. Wow, glory to God. Now, I, I, I see this really so beautiful because I think everything always brings us back to the definition of the word glory. What is even glory in the first place? Because when you say we beheld the glory and, you know, just okay. Uh, yeah, you talked about beauty and I love that. You know, there are three words for me that has really captured the word uh, glory. Like when we talk about glorifying the Father, glorifying God, sometimes it just looks like something vague. Okay, glorifying God, uh, maybe we're just lifting up holy hands. That's beautiful. But then, there's actually what it means to glorify God and it's from the word glory, glory. and we've I think we've talked for some time I think some one of the uh, broadcasts we had here you said uh, to glorify God or the word glory actually means three things that captures uh, this whole thing for me anyway based on my study first it means manifestation secondly it means uh, uh, presence okay manifestation that's the revealing of something and then it means presence that means when you are with me it's your glory you know and then the third part has to now do with uh, uh, the manifestation, the presence, and the beauty, the splendor, that's the word. So it actually means, like you, you already talked about beauty, so it's another word, splendor, you know, and all of that. So we can say the glory of the Lord is the manifest presence of the Lord and the beauty or the splendor thereof, if we would say that. So the main thing about it is this, when the word of God became human, became flesh, these three things were captured. First, the God that has been unseen over the years, over the ages, has been seen in a man. Secondly, his presence, you know, he says his nature because Emmanuel, God 
with us. So now God is no longer in just in heaven, but God has tabernacled. He said the word became flesh and tabernacled among us, and then we beheld his glory and all of that. Then he says the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of. So the manifestation of that glory in this context, as John was actually speaking, John the Baptist, of course, he said is full of grace and truth. Grace is a person, as Jesus Christ. Truth is a person. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So we're talking about the whole revelation of God in a man, Jesus Christ. Glory to God. And it's so powerful. Because when we talk about the word of God and the glory of God, sometimes we think it's kind of disconnected. But then we're seeing how that the word of God can be manifested as the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask you a question, you know, because every time we talk about this, the glory and the word, and really, in let's say today, uh, someone is watching right now, or personally, I'm having challenges in my life. You know, it's not enough to just talk about the glory of God and the word of God. It just looks like something distant. How can I bring that into my everyday experience? Like, the word of God is not written just to be read. Yes. It's written to be experienced. When God wants to do something, he speaks. I've, I've discovered that's how God works. So how can we apply this in our everyday life to experience the power of God's word through the glory, the manifestation of it, please? You know, the Bible says when you walk in your life, there yeah. is in your life. Oh, praise God. We have fellowship with one Oh, another. hallelujah. Glory to God. So, one way to bring the word of God to pass in your life, mm -hmm. or to experience this in your day to day living, wow. is for you to practice the word. So, because walking in the light of it. Yes. Oh, praise God. You know, the word of God is for practical. Uh, if it, if it, if it's so you practice, yeah, practice God. God. I love so that. you need to do it. Mm. Don't just say it. Wow. When you say you act it. Wow. Because because the the, Bible says the one became flesh. I mean oh, he took over the flesh. The, 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 the one now put, put the part of the man flesh now mm. and came to us now. Now we are the one because as we're walking now, the world is in us. Mm. Because the world made flesh in us. Oh, God. It's living in us. So we are the manifestation of the world living in us oh, now. Praise God. Praise so God. the only way for you to explain the word of God in your family, in your marriage, in your business, in your ministry, mm. is for you to put it into practice. Wow. It's for you to do it, not just to say it. Practice it. So, so in other words, if I get it right, the only way we can see the glory of God is by doing the word. Yes. Wow, that's powerful. Not, not just hearing it. Not just hearing it. Wow. Bible say, if, Bible say, if you just hear the word of God, what that did, you're deceiving yourself. Mm, self deception. <laughs> you know, Bible say, as, 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 as wow. we look, oh, as we God. look, glory to God. So we look with an open face. Oh, so we behold the glory of God. Mm. As we behold the glory of God, we have been manifested. Oh, we have been transformed and changed into the same image from one level of glory to another level of glory. Wow. Wow. You know, you know, it matters what you look, what are you looking at? Oh. Because from this definition, when I want to keep on looking, they come. Oh, hallelujah. So what you look matters. Oh, as a God. man of God, as a child of God, you need to pay attention to what you are looking. Wow. Because what you look, you come. Wow. So, so, so now, I'm talking about, because we, we're talking about a connection now. You've talked about doing the word and then beholding as looking, which is very, very key mm -hmm. in all of this that we're sharing. So, doing the word is very key. If we we're going to see the manifestation of the word, which is actually the glory of God. Now, the manifestation of the word of God is the glory of God. Sure. Because the word and the glory are together. Mm -hmm. But when the word of God is manifested in your life, it means the glory of the Lord is manifested in your life. And the word cannot be manifested when you are not mm -hmm. a doer of the word. But about that is the one that does the word that is blessed. Yes, thank you. So, not the hearer. Thank God for hearing. Hearing is the potential for doing. Sure. But it doesn't end with hearing. If not, we, the Bible says, like you say, we're actually deceiving. That's really what it means to deceive yourself. Deceive. Now, now you're going to the next one, which I think is very key. I feel that this is actually the secret of change. Hmm. Whatever situation, beholding. Now, I love the word. When you say beholding now, it's not just talking about looking. Because the word beholding, anyone can say, well, I've looked at the word. It doesn't change you just because you looked at it. You say beholding. To behold actually means to look with intent. To look on purpose, to look with a sense of intentionality, just like when I look at the time right now, I'm not just looking at the time for fun. I'm looking to know what the time is. It's going to inform certain actions and certain decisions in the light of what, whatever it is that I'm doing. So I believe that when we talk about beholding Jesus Christ, it means we're looking at him with intent and we look at Jesus by looking at the word. Yes. So as we look with that sense of purpose, he said that change is happening. Please can you talk more about that change that happens when we behold Jesus on purpose? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, James said that so we look into the perfect will of life. You know, you call it law of liberty. Glory right. to God. You call it what God perfect yeah. law of liberty. Yeah. It's the law, it's the law that gives freedom. Mm. You know, see, as you say, as if as you look, you say he that look and do it not. It's just wow. like a man that look at himself. In the mirror, and after looking at the same mirror, he goes out. He forgets, 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 forgets. Mm. you know, just like that. And that's what the matter. 
Okay. It's, it's, it's one thing for you to look to behold, mm. another thing for you to do what you behold. Wow, 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 wow. So from this meeting, I say, well, as, you see, as you look, you have to do it. Hmm. Yeah, you, we talk about the, the looking with intent. Say, mm -hmm. whoever uh, looks, uh, it's between the perfect law of liberty, not uh, being a forgetful hearer, but being a doer. Yeah. So I'm saying that somehow, if we are really beholding, mm -hmm. we are beholding, beholding in view of something, in view mm -hmm. of doing. Mm -hmm. So if we're actually beholding, we come to us on the world. Sure. Because as we behold, we do. Give say, give say, not being a forgotten. Forgetful hearer, yeah, yeah but yeah. a doer of the work. Oh, it's, a, it's a key. That man was part of the So there are people who are reading the Bible, volumes of it and chapters and everything, and they can quote lots of scriptures, but we're not seeing the manifestation. So what could be the problem? You know, those people, they just want to have it in their brain. They only have it in their brain. <laughs> in their spirit. Because wow. if the word of God is in your spirit, wow. it will cause you to do it. Hmm. It will cost you to do it. No wonder the Bible tells us Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says that uh, this book of the Lord shall not be out of your mouth. He said, Thou shalt meditate on it, and the word meditation, because of time, won't go into that. How about three is expression and uh, manifestation? But he says that when you meditate on it, you will observe to do it. So in meditation, you are programmed to be a doer of the word. And this brings us to one thing, because someone might be reading and think, okay, I need to be a doer of the word. So uh, maybe I read a portion of scripture, let me go and do it. Now, it's beautiful that you think that way, but then it should go more, much more than that because there's a, there's a provision for us to be doers of the word. The key is this, as long as we are beholding the word, this, remember the Spirit of God, the Bible said that just as by the Spirit of God, He's the one that's in charge of this operation as we are changed from glory to glory by the Spirit of God. So, but our own role there is to keep our eyes on the Word of God. And as long as you are beholding the Word, you are actually a doer of the Word. Because if you are beholding, the whole thing works. You are looking with intent. You are looking in view of doing. So, I, I come back to that question I asked. Because there are people who will tell you, man, I've been reading the Bible, I've been quoting, I confess the word, and nothing seems to be changing. I mean, I've met lots of people who have shared that with me. What do you think? Now, I, I, is it probably the, they are not doing What about those who tell you, I've done the word, I've practiced the word, but it doesn't seem to be working? Is it you possible know, really in the first place? The Bible says, faith without work. Okay. 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 You know, most people, and now again, the Bible, the word of God is not for obeying. It's for doing. It's for doing. Glory to God. Yeah. And it depends on how you're doing it. Mm. Your attitude. Your attitude. Okay. You know, I would say, I would say, you have this attitude. Mm. 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 So it depends on how you're doing. Some people are not doing. They are doing because of the reward. Okay. They're not acting out of love. So, so, so the doing is not flowing mm. as a result of oh. what's going on on the inside. It's more of like a mechanical I thing. Yes. Like legalism. Just trying to act as though. Do. It's all dependent on my... You know, some people see people as magicians. Okay. So they believe that when they do it, they will get what they're looking for. Wow. Their main intention of doing it is for them to satisfy oh. their own self desire. Wow. You get me now? Wow. So because that was what uh, James say, you say if you pray, you don't get it because mm. you pray at least. Mm. Mm. Then so they, what they are doing, they are doing it in the wrong way. Wow. wow. They're not doing it to please God. Wow. Because Bible says say, all things we are created by Him and for Him. Mm. Our life should bring Him glory. Wow. Our first purpose is to glorify Him. Yes, sir. In doing that, in glorifying Him, our own part will be paid. Wow. Whatever wow. we need to be given to us. Ah, glory to God. So if you are in that aspect of glorifying God, doing what He calls us to do, yeah, no, yeah, in yeah, doing yeah. God's own thing, your own is being done. Mm, mm, so if that, you have that mentality, you have that, that belief, you have that, that spirit, that whatever you are doing, whatever you are called to do, you are not doing it for your own sake. You are doing for God to glorify God. Him. Bible yeah. say, Bible says something. Say, it say, for, for you all believe that one, if one die, one die for all. Mm. And he that he that dies, those who are alive, yeah, that those who live might live not for themselves but for the one who yeah, 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 So God. now, if you get that, if you have that one, that's particular advice according to your spirit very yes, well. Yes, you will know that you are living not for him, for yourself. Mm. You are living for him. So so, the, so, so, you get to a point where you are sold out to the Lord. Now, I, I, from what you are sharing, I'm, I'm get, really getting something now. It means that there are people who, instead of understanding first that they are doers of the word by virtue of position in them, they rather want to try to see whether God's word will work. Right. So it's like trying to see, see instead it. of actually doing it. as do, Because it's, it's a matter of understanding that you are actually a doer of the word. Mm -hmm. As a believer, you are actually designed to do the word, not to try to see whether it will work. Mm -hmm. It's not like an external thing. It's who you have become as a result of the working of the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. So instead of you to, like the word is like, instead of trying, just do it. Mm -hmm. Just act in, in consonance with what mm -hmm. God has made you to be. Glory to God. You know, you know wow. God, so, 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 if you love me, yeah. 
He said, yeah. if you love me, yeah. you know, the love of God is demonstrated in the world. Wow. In doing the world. Yeah. Sometimes we say we love God, but we don't love him. Yeah. So if you love him, do my word. Do wow. my commands. So the proof of love is obedience. Yes, obedience. Yes. Doing the word. Doing the word. Wow. Wow. And it just flows naturally, naturally as we rely on the Holy Spirit. Now, I, I, in all of this, as we conclude this, I'm just seeing that there's what we call uh, the spirit of the world. Uh, a lot of people haven't caught the spirit of the world. You know, the word spirit doesn't really mean it, the spirit being, it just means the attitude of the world. So it's much more than just reading some letters and trying to, you know, it's not an external thing. Now, in the Old Testament, the law was an external thing. They had to do. I mean, they had to obey. obey because God was giving them ten commandments and other miscellaneous. I was reading a couple of them this morning. Quite some of them were quite funny and all of that in the Old Testament and stuff. Just seeing in all of it, at the end of the day, you discover that God was not really that interested in the law as it was as He was about what He was trying to communicate to the people. It was beyond just the do this, don't do this, and do this. In the whole of the law, you catch the mind of God, like what God, what His intent was. But these guys couldn't relate with that, so He couldn't communicate His intent to them. He had to give them laws, and He says, "In keeping these laws, you live by them." Job prospered by the law. These people prospered by the law. You could tell a, pros a, a man who kept the law by. Him prospering the sickness and disease. Remember the Proverbs 28. None of those things being upon them. So the law was a provision, God's provision to keep these people protected, mm -hmm. or rather, I would say, to keep them in His glory. That means they were immune to every corruption. That's everything that came as a result of the fall: sickness, disease, death, and plagues, and all of those things. So the law was God's provision temporarily for them till Christ came, the Word Himself. Today, the Word has come. The Word is no longer an external force. Mm -hmm. It's not an internal force. So we live from the inside. So the word of God is not something that we look at as an external thing, trying to keep some rules and codes and, and laws. But right now, we just live. It's natural to mm. us to be doers of the world. I believe this is the starting point. Sure. When you see yourself as a doer of the world, not just one who is trying to do the word or trying to see if the word would work or not. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't mm. know if you have something else you know, to say. would be in, uh, I think, Roman, uh, Roman 12, 2. Yes, sir. I would say, say let God change you I change the way you think. Oh, the renewing of your mind. mind. Glory to God. You know, some people today in our some people, their mind is not really renewed. Wow. They are divided. Oof. And you cannot act in fear. Wow. Anything that is Bible say is Bible say is 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 anything that is done outside faith. Mm, it's it's, it's, wow. wow. So no man can please God without faith. Mm. The only way to please God is to act by faith. Hallelujah. Praise God. So if you have this revelation. You know that yes, I'm called to live by faith. Mm. So I have to walk and to live by the world. Glory to God. My Glory life to God. has to be by the world. That means I cannot exist outside the world. Mm. Just like you know, by, by, by nature, fish we are designed to live in the water. Mm. But you take them out of the water wow. and place them on the ground, wow. they will just be there for some time. They will die. Wow. And that's why <laughs> when you, when when the man of God is is outside of the world. Mm. Just be, 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 before some before some days or that or years, you start fading. Wow. You start wow. fading. So actually to live in the glory of God, we live in the world. Yes. So the world is our environment, sure. just like the water is the environment of the fish. Oh, that's so powerful. And I really love this. You know, in concluding today, we kind of have limited time. This 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 has been so beautiful. I've been so blessed. Thank you so much, Pastor. You know, I'm really so blessed by this. You know, let me read this concluding thought as we conclude today. And I wanted to say this more of a summation of all that we've been sharing. It says, now this Isaiah chapter 40, verses 4 and 5. This is the word of the Lord to you. And to actually, it's been a word from our leadership retreat. We've been sharing that. Been a, I've taken it so personal, really. Mm -hmm. It's beyond just and every we have to personalize God's word. It says, Every valley shall be exalted. I hope you're saying amen because this is God's declaration to you. He said, Every valley shall be exalted, amen. and every mountain and hill brought low. Amen. He says, The crooked places shall be made straight, amen. He said, And the rough places smooth. Amen. Now, look at what verse 5 says. He said, The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, amen. He said, And all flesh shall see it together, amen. He said, For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Amen. We we'll receive this in the name of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. He said the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. Now look at it. All of these things he mentioned, the valley, the mountain being leveled, the valley exalted, the crooked path made straight, the rough places uh, smoothened. And then he says the glory of the Lord shall be manifested, shall be obvious. Hmm. He says, and all flesh shall see. So it's not just to say, oh, the glory of God. I, I won't be the one to start telling you the glory is in my life. He said, you're going to see it. It's going to be so manifested. Like Jesus was made flesh and people could see God in human body. Hmm. He said that the same way everyone can see the glory. Why? He said, for the mouth of the Lord 
has spoken. This is the connection between the glory of the Lord and the word of the Lord. When you embrace the word of God, you actually embrace the glory of the Lord. When you walk in the light of God's word, like Pastor has shared, you're actually walking in his glory. Because when the word of God is manifested through your life, that's actually the glory of the Lord that is seen everywhere. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor, you, for sharing this Amen. today. We believe that God has strengthened you through the word, Amen. and we've been so blessed and inspired by this. We look forward to coming to, uh, to you with much more as God has inspired in our hearts. Why not encourage you if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can receive much more that will be coming after this god bless you have a blessed day have a great life in jesus name amen amen